If you've been told that you have a disc herniation or what's called stenosis, which is tightening or narrowing of your spinal canal, in this video, I'll be describing some of the things that we do in surgery to help alleviate that. Hi, my name is Dr. Antonio Webb. I'm an orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. The two big types of decompression surgeries that we do are either a laminectomy or a laminotomy with a discectomy that's usually part of that. A laminectomy just means that we remove a portion of your spine called the lamina to give more space. A laminotomy is just removal of the portion of what's called the lamina to gain access to the spinal canal, usually to remove a disc herniation. Ectomy means to remove. Lamina is just a portion of the bone in the back of your spine. This is the front of the spine here, specifically your lumbar spine. These are the lumbar vertebrae, five, four, three, two, one. In between each of the vertebrae here, this is your sacrum as well, you have your cushion or your disc. This cushion is a shock absorber that resides between those bones that give it support and also cushion. Over time, we lose the integrity of these cushions. You can get what's called disc degeneration disease. You can also get what's called spinal stenosis or a portion of that disc spits out and pushes on your nerve. That's called a disc herniation. This is the back of your spine here. These are the spinous processes here at every level. This is what you feel when you touch the middle portion of your back. On the outside of this, on both sides, kind of like the shingles on the roof, this is the lamina. And you have these at pretty much every level in your spine. A laminectomy is essentially when we remove this lamina on both sides to give the spinal canal more space. And we're gonna do that today. There are a couple different specialized and really technical instruments that we use in surgery. One of them is called a kerosene. This kerosene is to remove bone and also tissue that's pressing ligament that's pressing on the spinal canal or nerves. This kerosene here can open and close. It essentially just grabs the bone and soft tissue. Well, we're gonna start off with a laminotomy. When will we do this? Well, we'll do this typically when a patient has a disc herniation. A portion of that disc spits out and it presses on the spinal canal or nerve. So I'm gonna do a laminotomy of the L5 lamina here. It's essentially where we remove this bone we're creating a little space and a little tunnel so that we can get into the, the spinal canal and re re remove the pressure that's on the nerve or the herniation and or herniation. The other instrument that we commonly use in surgery for decompression is a rongeur. This is an instrument where we can squeeze, it actually grabs objects such as soft tissue, muscle, bone. So I'm gonna use this to remove the spinous process. And typically, we'll just grab the spinous process to remove that bone that's here. And we'll remove this to allow us to have space to do our decompression. And we'll be able to see exactly what we're doing. So the only spinous process that we'll remove is the one that is um, at the level of the decompression. And sometimes we'll also use our kerosen to remove more of this bone here. So. This is the lamina. The spinous process has been removed. This is the lamina. We're going to use the drill again to drill away some more of the, um, this lamina here. And you notice that I'm not removing all of the bone. I'm only removing the bone that's, en that's enough to give us access to the spinal canal. We'll use our rongeur to remove the uh, rest of the bone here. Now you can see that there's more space for the spinal canal. The spinal canal has more space, the nerves. We then check them, make sure that they're free. We kind of do what's called a rotor rooter. We, we essentially remove the bone spurs. We make more space for the spinal canal so that there's no more compression or stenosis. We relieve the pressure. A laminectomy is a procedure that we do as spine surgeons to relieve the pressure that's on the spinal canal 
or relieve stenosis, which is tightening. This is a procedure where we make a small incision on your lower back or your neck, and we remove the portion of the bone called the lamina. Ectomy means to remove, so a laminectomy is to remove the lamina to make more space. The other procedure that we commonly do as spine surgeons is called a hemilaminotomy or a discectomy. This is when we remove one portion of that lamina, half of it, to gain access to the spinal canal and nerve to relieve the pressure and usually to remove a disc herniation that's pressing on a nerve. I hope this video helps understand the difference between the two and what we normally do as spine surgeons to relieve pressure on the spinal cord, spinal canal, or nerves. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.